When it comes to women and heart disease, having factual information is key, especially in determining your risk. So this morning we're myth busting with Dr. Gita Ramaswamy, an interventional cardiologist with Texas Health Heart and Vascular Specialists, a Texas Health Physicians Group Practice. Good morning, so nice to have you with us. Thank you so much, good morning. Yeah, nice to see you. Okay, we're just gonna get right to some myths that uh, a lot of people think the first myth, heart disease is for men, cancer gets women. What's the truth? The truth is that heart disease is a major killer among women. It strikes more women than men. It is estimated that one out of three American women succumb to heart disease. So by the end of this segment, maybe we would have lost four women to heart disease. Wow, so it's something we really need to know information Absolutely. about. So yes. the second myth, I don't have typical symptoms of heart disease. What is the truth? Yeah, so women may not have some of the typical symptoms of heart disease that men have. Men have the clutching chest pain symptoms that alert them to heart disease. Mm -hmm. Now women can have chest pain symptoms, but at the same time, it is common for women to have other symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigue, nausea, belly pain, pain between the shoulder blades. So one has to be aware that these symptoms may in fact be due to underlying heart disease. So could you could repeat those just like one, two, three, four, five, one more time, because those are things you might not necessarily look for. Yeah, shortness of breath. Okay. Nausea. Right pain between the shoulder blades, just extreme fatigue, jaw pain, neck pain, in addition to chest pain. Okay, so any of these are something that you might not think of heart, heart as something wrong with your heart, but you need to be aware, like you said, that it actually kills more women than men? Absolutely, That's amazing. Yes. Okay, third myth, preventative and therapeutic interventions will not help women. Once you have heart disease, you have it. What's the truth? It's time to take charge. I know that it's overwhelming to receive a diagnosis of heart disease, but there are several healthy tips you can follow to, to take care of your health and to effect some positive changes towards your heart health, like eating a healthy diet rich in whole, whole grains, uh, fruits, vegetables, lean animal protein, plant-based protein, um, taking care of your exercise, 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per week, we're talking per mm -hmm. week, or 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week, tobacco-free uh, <clears throat> lifestyle, and keeping tabs on your numbers, your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels, your blood sugar levels, and visit with your doctor, talk to them about your risk factors and your family history. I'm passionate about how much nutrition makes, how much difference it makes in, in women's health. And when you said the foods, whole foods, just not a lot of processed foods. Absolutely. That's one key thing to go by, exactly. right? Exactly, yes. Okay, the next myth is heart disease does not affect women who are fit. What's the truth? Yeah, it's important to be fit. Yes, certainly it improves your heart health, but it doesn't provide you total immunity against heart disease because there are other factors that can affect your heart health like your cholesterol level, your blood pressure, your blood sugar. So the American Heart Association uh, advises folks to have their cholesterol level tested at age 20, especially if you have a family history. And it's also good to have your blood pressure, your blood sugar checked and visit with your doctor on a regular basis. Okay, last myth, and I'm gonna confess, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, is it Tavar? Tavar, yeah. Tavar, okay, I got it right. Is not a good treatment option for women who are already struggling with heart disease. What's the truth? Tavar is a great therapeutic option for women. Tavar is transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It is a procedure, it's a minimally invasive procedure uh, whereby you can have the aortic valve replaced without having to undergo an open heart procedure. Hmm. So the advantage of TAVR <coughs> is that uh, patients recover quicker, mm -hmm. their hospital uh, stay is shorter. Now there are some unique set of complications that can uh, occur in women undergoing TAVR because of their smaller frame, their smaller body size. Right. But at the end of the day, TAVR benefits women as much as it benefits men. So it's a great therapeutic option. Thank yes. you so much for coming in this morning. Such an important uh, subject for women and we really appreciate you busting some of those myths. Thank you so much. Thanks. For more information about women and heart disease, call 866-906-4310 or go to thpg.org slash 
Heart Truths.